a positive integer n is said to be prime saturated if the product of all the different positive prime factors of n is less than the square root of n. Uh, what is the greatest two-digit prime saturated integer? Okay, so what do they mean here? Uh, so when will this happen? When will this be that uh, the product of all our different positive prime factors is less than the square root of n? So true when we ha <clears throat> we have a lot of repeats, a lot of duplicates in our prime factors. So if I have uh, you know two to the tenth or something, uh, well that uh, we only count one of those twos because we're only talking about our different prime factors. So we're not counting those repeats. Uh, and so if you were just the product of all our different prime factors there would just be one, two. Uh, and so it will be very low. So if we're trying to get a very low product here, then we want to choose as few numbers as possible. So if we have a lot of repeats uh, in our factors and our prime factors, uh, that will probably maximize our chances of getting us a prime saturated number. And so when they say, what is the greatest two digit prime saturated integer? Well, you don't actually have to find the greatest two digit prime saturated integer because it has to be one of our answer choices. So we can just test the answer choices and especially so they, they present them to us very nicely uh, going down in descending order. So if we just start with the biggest one, well then the second we get to one that works, that has to be the greatest two digit prime saturated integer. So uh, let's start breaking these guys up. So 99 can be broken up into 33 times three. That is 11 times three. So um, we only get to count one of those threes. Uh, and so this, uh, the product of its different prime factors will be three times 11, which is 33. Uh, 33 uh, is uh, definitely not less than the square root of 99. The square root of 100 is 10, so this is gonna be close to 10. Uh, and so this is not prime saturated, because uh, 33 is greater uh, than the square root of 99. Uh, 98, what does that become? So that is 49 times two, which, so we got two sevens and a two. We only get to count one of those sevens though. Uh, so the product of our different prime factors here is two times seven, which is 14. Uh, and again, 14 should be greater than the square root of 98. So this guy is not prime saturated. What about 97? Uh, 97, I believe, is, is 97 prime. Uh, sums to 16, so it's not divisible by three. Uh, is 97 divisible by seven? Uh, No, so I think uh, I think 97 is prime. Uh, so that's definitely not prime saturated uh, if it's prime because 97 is uh, certainly gonna be greater than the square root of 97. Uh, what about 96? So that will be 48 times two. Six times eight, three, two, and then eight is just a bunch of twos. So here is what we're talking about. So here we got one with a lot of duplicates. We got a bunch of twos here. And so we only get to count one of those twos and one of our threes. Uh, and so here uh, our product will be two times three, which is equal to six. And uh, the square root uh, of 96, Again, it's gonna be pretty close to 10. So here, the square root of 96 will be greater 
then six, and D looks to be our answer. Mm-hmm.